Today, I am going to solve a problem on radical bromination. Here is the problem. When this labeled cyclohexene is treated with n-bromosaccinimide, asa isobutyronitrile in CCL4 as solvent, it gives three products A, B and C. All are different because of the labeled carbon. What will be the ratio of A, B and C? Whether it is 1 is to 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1 is to 1, 3 is to 2 is to 1. First, let us discuss the possibility for the formation of these bromo compounds. This carbon is labeled. When I add NPS and AIBN, AIBN is very well known radical initiator. This gives BR radical. Now this BR radical combines with this one to give this this product. There is one more possibility also. Instead of this carbon, this carbon also may add to the bromine radical to give Br here and radical here. This can lead to another product So they are not same, you can see here, here bromine is on the labeled carbon, but here it is next to that. One more pathway, the allylic radical is generated from this and it combines with BR radical to give the product. There is one more allylic position that is this carbon. So radical may be generated here also. And it may combine with BR radical to give another product. Now from the four reaction pathways we get four products in that two are same this and this they are same apart from that we got two more and they are entirely different now the problem a is this one double bond which has labeled carbon afterwards there is br double bond labeled carbon then BR so this is A second one allylic bromide where BR is on the labeled carbon so that is this one and the other one it is C what is the ratio of A B and C it's very simple A there are two B and C only one. So the answer is 2 is to 1 is to 1. 